Hi everyone, I thought I would take a video for this post. Um, it's a project I've been working on for a while and I thought it was worthwhile. So this is a project I've been working on. Oh, it looks like I can't switch the camera while I'm recording. Okay, stand by. Okay, so uh, now with the camera switched, this is the project I've been working on while well, on and off for some time now. Uh, it's an Italian Brasilia coffee machine, a Brasilia Lady to be exact. Um, so when I started out it basically had, um, well when I started out it was white for one thing, um, so it's been powder coated. Um, all of the buttons here were all just manual AC buttons, so everything was entirely manual. Um, so each button controlled either the heater or the solenoid or, or whatever so and it didn't have the display so what I've done is I've added the display I've added um, this little additional LED um, and it's all controlled by solid state relays and uh, an Arduino um, there's a bunch of pictures in the post um, which you can have a look through if you're interested so the basic operation of the machine is so this display is uh, an OLED display um, this top plate was um, cut and then milled out of aluminium and then I've just polished it up with some uh, polishing compound um, some of my earlier versions used an LCD display um, but when I came across the OLED um, yeah, just it looks so much better. Um, I don't know if you can really see it that well, but um, it's extremely sharp, high contrast, really good viewing angle. So compared to the LCD, which is really glowy and has poor viewing angles. So um, see, I don't know if I'll just go through that again. So I've got a little fancy little uh, splash screen there. And then uh, just to prime it, and this is noisy, so block your ears or something. So it has two temperature probes, one for the uh, for the coffee, and one for the group head, which is the the whole kind of uh, area up into here, which is all uh, brass off the brass boiler. So. When you're making coffee you don't want to just have the hot water you also want the whole whole machine to be nice and hot so um it's already pretty hot at the moment but um so it uses uh the arduino pid uh, library to control the temperature on the boiler uh, it uses two thermocouples to detect the temperature k type thermocouple um, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, menu system. So we can go through all the various menu options. So all of these buttons that were purely AC buttons now go down to the Arduino and control the software. So you can adjust the temperature, steam temperature, um, and then you can go through and set all the PID parameters. Um, it's a debug mode, so you can kind of try and see what the PID is doing when you're setting it up. Um, I've got an over temp trip which basically just shuts down all the solid state relays if it goes over that temperature. It also has a uh, physical thermal fuse. Uh, reset config. So it's basically just a, a bunch of settings and I seem to keep adding more as I need them. So that's basically it. Um, I don't know what else I can show you. Um, you'll probably see more in the pictures below, like I said. Uh, that's the top of the machine. Inside here is the uh, Arduino controller. Um, it did originally have a water tank in here, but I had to uh, sacrifice that space for the uh, microcontroller. And then below this, there's the um, control box that has all the solid state relays. Uh, so now the water tank's external. Um, it's not really a big sacrifice given that the 
water tank in there was only like a litre, so you had to fill it up every five seconds anyway. So um, now I've got that um, four litre water tank, which is made um, from a cereal box. Um, yeah, there's some more pictures of the connectors or the hose outlet for that, which I milled or lathed up. Um, yeah, I think that's about all there is. Uh, it's been a really long project. There's been several iterations, um, but it's finally uh, in its finished state. Uh, so next up, um, I'll take a shot of actually pulling a shot. Okay, so this is going to be pulling a shot. As you can see, the machine is up to 125 out of 125, more or less. And the group head's nice and hot. The temperature is a little higher than what you might expect, but essentially by the time it gets through all of the, uh, the boiler and the mechanism and so on, it comes out at about 98 to 100 degrees, which is really where you want it. So it's all ready to go. Now I have to be honest, um, I don't really know how to make coffee, so I've uh, asked my wife to grind and press. So all I need to do is push the button. There we go. Alright, looks pretty good. Um, now the other thing I didn't mention before is I've got this little uh, ET extraction time counter on there that counts the number of seconds, uh, which is quite handy. For a typical shot, it should be around 26 seconds if it's been uh, ground to the right level and pressed correctly. So that's pretty good. Really nice looking camera on there. Mmm. Yum. Alright. Done.